Hello, welcome. My name is Bruce Schwartz. Hey, a big thank you, everyone, for the amazing support, for taking the time to subscribe to this channel. Check this video out. I hope you enjoy this one. Lots of vari variety in this one. This is an object on the top right of the sun that I caught by pulling over on the side of the road and taking a snap shot of it. It was stationary there for about 30 to about 45 minutes, maybe even a little longer, and there it is with the inversion. Now, somebody asked me, have you ever seen anyone else capture something similar? Well, what do you think of this? This is a recent capture, if I'm not mistaken, Toby Lund, that caught this, not with his own devices, but on an ISS NASA feed that was cut off and even scrubbed afterwards from the website. What do you think of that? Looks like it bends, right? It is some type of debris or UFO, but don't you think it's very, very similar, eerily similar to the shape that I got right beside the sun? Check that out. Simple filtering here. Even though there's a cannon in the front lifted up, looks like there's mechanisms that bend. So compared to this, what I captured in the sky next to the sun, that's the only time that I ever saw anything have a shape similar to this and of course I have caught the dark triangle so now that we have that out of the way let's talk about something really serious whether there be a war or some fighting going on on the moon and for whatever ever the reason I am showing you smokes and hazes on the moon let's never mind that and just call it a mysterious thick dust if you want but everything's hiding underneath that now here in slow motion is that an explosion that we're seeing on the right that's illuminating? Watch. And it's even showing us a UFO because I couldn't see that UFO. You get it? We're going to see it in slow motion. So here it's darkness. And something, all of a sudden, it happened faster than this. I'm slowing it down so we can see every frame of what's happening. You'll see a UFO starting to appear that's approaching this object that's getting so bright it's illuminating the whole entire surface and i don't just have one incidence of this i have many captures and many events of that and it's like watch this we're going to look at this and then, and then i'm going to do forward and back i'm going to use the filtering so a massive plume of smoke appears just over to the left after having seen an object on the right appear under the haze three in a triangular formation, objects that appear that are stationary on the surface. Here you see that object appearing inside of the hazes and then disappears into the hazes, descending towards the surface. And on the left, a massive plume of smoke, very thick, like a cloud. It is a cloud, appears, and three objects can be seen inside of that plume. Oh, that's enough of that. I won't linger on it. Here I'm really trying to filter this properly, what we saw at the beginning of the video. But there are smokes and hazes. You see that object on fire, but there are other objects at the same time. A smoke, a plume of smoke yet again coming from the back of it. Other objects appearing, and they're all flying the same direction. And, and like, what the heck is going on under those hazes? Look at it again, an explosion, a second explosion, a third explosion, and then all the other objects appear, some of them going face to face, actually, they're not all going in the same direction. And you can see there that plume of smoke. I mean, nobody shows that on the surface, so that's why I really wanted to share that. And to see all these objects whizzing by and hearing that the Pentagon is supposedly doing experimentation around the moon, well, can't help but wonder what the hell's, what the hell we're looking at, right? Well, very exciting DART mission that they just spoke about, apparently successfully hitting um, an asteroid, a moon-lit asteroid. What's this? This is an object with the infrared camera, a massive object that is spiraling around that I was able to capture. And of course, this doesn't happen every day. Many months go by before we see these captures. This one 
really cool. But my favorite sun one, well, I have a couple. But this is definitely one of them. You can really see the rock catching on fire as it is definitely going close to the sun, maybe in the sun's corona. And there it is leaving the sun. So these are captures. I mean, you have to be lucky, right? So what, I, what I'm showing now is on the left side of the sun and on the right side of the sun to see it close up because obviously I was further away. The whole image itself, it's a lot smaller. We can see the nice shape there, almost, you know, there, look at that. And there it is, leaving the sun, catching on fire again. Watch it get like a fireball as it gets to the heated part of the sun, the outer layer. Wow, that's pretty cool. I caught some really cool things in the sky and some shapes and forms like this one, either a comet or meteor with a tail that's skimming by Betelgeuse, falling stars in the Orion constellation. And you could see the wings that that object in front has. Like these objects are traveling fast. And obviously it was a flash um, on the camera when it went by. But I wanted to share that a really cool object with a tail. It looks like an angel flying down from the heavens, doesn't it? Uh, see, I got carried away with the sun. Let's go back to the moon. Explosions on the moon. What else you want it to be? It's the most beautiful thing. I'm happy that I, I get a chance to look at all of this. I know that it's totally top secret. They for sure don't want me showing this. And it's proof of a massive object that we can see here from Earth that's in the uh, moon's atmosphere that's catching on fire. There's smokes lifting up off of it. It's either reacting to the atmosphere around it, maybe the oxygens in the atmosphere of the moon, possibly. And if there are other secrets like biological life on the moon for me, just to get the chance to see it, even if it'll never be proven, I thank God so much to have seen this. You know that's not a UFO. It scares the hell out of me thinking, what is it, a giant pterodactyl? You know, here are the lights taken down, the exposure taken right down where we see these lights. And we see them really well. They're hard to differentiate unless we take down those lights. And of course, that's why I like showing them. Here's one that's going to almost spontaneously combust, poof, and lift up off the surface and change areas. So it's a massive region on the surface that's actually doing that or are these explosions all over the surface can't help but wonder if they're explosions what about this object watch carefully this object's causing smoke there's a line a black line between them and it shoots out another ufo let's see that a couple of times this is pretty incredible right on the surface of the moon there's a light appearing illuminating the smoke you'll see a line on top of it Whoop, another light at the end it appears takes off towards another direction on top of it. So can you imagine how many objects or living beings or UFOs, biological creatures, whatever you want to call them, that are under the hazes of the moon? That's really one of the biggest parts of the secret. And that's why a lot of people are not seeing the surface of the moon. Here on the edge of Copernicus Crater, if this isn't a UFO exiting, it's uh, something that's coming out of the crater. It could be exhausting, right? Venting, whatever. A lot of people talk about different reasons, the gases, the methane lifting up, or is there someone fighting on the surface? And these, if they're not UFOs, could it be um, from explosions on the surface? It almost does look like there is a war on the moon. You know, when you look at many of some of the captures that I've been able to to see and to show i mean it's it's really scary the explosions are very rare on the moon here's a live one i'm going to quite simply get in close and show you you're going to see it appear but i have a problem with some of these explosions there are other areas of the surface watch inside it's quick pow there are other areas that light up simultaneously i had to slow it down to understand it watch if that doesn't scare you, I don't know what does. And what I thought was an explosion seems to appear or disappear first and change areas on the surface. So this took me a while. First, it's an explosion. Then I said, well, no, watch what happens. Three areas light up at the same time. And then when it disappears, it appears or another light appears in the center. And 
I was able to show this about 10 or 15 times, different events, different moon phases, always capturing those same flashing lights. You see them here, three areas at the same time lighting up on the surface. That should be in the news. It's a light system, an intelligent being. There's something to this. It's a, it's a mechanism, right? And what are these? This is stationary as the telescope's moving over to the left. Well, it's actually stationary, the telescope, it's the moon moving over. But look at that object lighting up. If it's not an object, it's an explosion. But it was far too long, even though this is slowed down, to be an explosion. So there's more than one incident that I'm able to capture on the surface inside of these hazes. It's been raining for weeks here off end, but there's still so much footage that I can look through. And there'll be more moons coming up and more phases and a lot more findings. Thank you so much, everyone, for the amazing support. Aliens up there on the moon. They may be even coming right here soon. Aliens are on the moon. Yes, they are up there. Doesn't matter, cause disclosure's coming soon.